they started to separate between the creator and the creation. And this is where the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in his time, the Arab, they used to worship idols and they had many idols, yeah, right? Know. Like Lot and Uzza and all of that, right? So when they would worship these different idols and then they would sacrifice to these idols and everybody had their own theology, mm. right? Which developed over time, like you said, right? Mm. Through myths, right? Mm. For example, the Arab, they used to have these ideas that if you want to know the future, you throw some uh, rocks or you throw some arrows and then you figure out the future and then they would do magic and things based on those kinds of things. But that's all darkness, right? Mm. For example, in India, you have the caste system, right? They have the Sudras, you have the Vaishyas. I'm from India. But oh, you, okay. But in India, they have yeah. the caste system. Where are you from? I'm from Fiji, but my, my Fiji. parents. Fiji. Yes, yeah, ethnically, yeah. But you see, if this was so much a part of Hinduism, right? How come when all the, the Indians who left India have no caste? They oh, they don't. do, they do. I live in America, and till today we have Brahmins who will no, not sit and. In Fiji, we don't. In Fiji, you may not, because they've got. But, but the idea of caste system is in Hinduism, right? Even I mean. Are the, Muslims, uh, the Hindus in America, are they discriminating against? They are, right? for sure. I know Brahmin that will not even eat with somebody of lower caste. Oh, we don't have that. See, but, but that's the idea. That, that idea is found in the Gita itself about how God, in, in Mahabharata, about how God created the different castes from the head. No. The, he made the Brahmin. No, this, this is, I can give you yeah, the scripture, I think right? I heard, right? Yeah. From the, the Kshatriya from the chest, yeah. the, the, the Vaishya from the loins, yeah. and the Sudra from the feet. Yeah. So, I because of. I, again, I agree with you, right? So, those that, Hindu yeah. scriptures yeah. are fiction. But the Quran is reality. Okay. So, we can't take fiction over reality when we're talking about living in a real world, right? Mm -hmm. So the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us there's no superiority to an Arab, to a non-Arab, or white, or black. Uh, but look what's happening in Gaza is getting, uh, I thought of I this mean, many a time. Yes. Thousands and thousands, hundreds of uh, Gazan people like getting killed. Right. What is Saudi Arabia doing? A once again. A big nation like that with sure. loads of money. Should they not be? Prophet Muhammad said yes. that between the Muslim countries, there should be no border. I agree. Agree with you, yeah, and right? That's not happening. No, no, so but you see. but when we talk about a caste system based on religious text, mm. that's different than saying the inability of a Muslim country, yeah, for example. Oh, hold on. The right? caste system should not be there. There you go, and that's something found in religious yeah, texts of like Hinduism. You don't have to believe. That's well, but, the but it's but it's a part of the text. No, it is. No, I mean, in the Gita. Part, yeah, <laughs> might be part of the text, right? but you are not forced to believe it. So would you? you have to believe so, so a Hindu doesn't have to believe what's in their books. Well, the books are again, as I said, because mythology. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, so, so, so then, so then about? we would say that's not like like the reference to God in Hindu books is mythology. It's fiction, right? Not all, but those books are just there to give you, uh, give you the. That was the system was called Varna, which was a Varna, yes, exactly. Structure. Yeah, you do know it. Yeah. Which is the structure of the society. Okay. So called untouchables were not there. They the, were not there. They were untouchables, right? You couldn't even eat in the same plate. No, but if, if their shadow went over no no, I mean I mean this I, I have studied this, right? So no. So, when I look at Varna, yeah. that structure, there were no untouchables. Sudras are the untouchables. Sudras are the untouchables. Of course, that's the lowest caste, right? They're the one that clean the streets. But the, I mean, yeah. till today, okay. till today in India, there is racism. I, I mean, you can Google BBC and oh, yes. other documentaries that have been done. Yeah. Right. Even so, the so now Muslims, Muslims I spoke to, mm -hmm. they do, uh, they talk of. Um, uh, there is not a caste system in Alhamdulillah, in Islam, yeah. we don't. But the Muslims in India all okay. seem to fall into some kind of a... We don't. I mean, Alhamdulillah, if you look at here, there are Muslim brothers from India, from Pakistan, from Afghanistan, from the Arab. None of us have any differentiation. But do you see Indians here all following caste system? Oh, I do see some. And like I said, I'm in my own hometown in America. Yeah. I know Brahmin that will not eat in the same plate as a Sudra. Till, till today. And in India, marriage between castes is still frowned upon, right? And, and it's, it's, not, it's not just a practice. This is why it's not the same as Saudi Arabia and Gaza and things, because obviously Saudi Arabia is not doing it because they feel the Ghazans are a different caste and it's not based on the Quran. 
In fact, Saudi Arabia does give a lot of money and has stood up for, for I mean, again, I, I, I do agree that the Muslim world needs to do more for the people of Gaza, but, but that's not Muslims killing Muslims in Gaza, that's the Jews in, in, the, in, the, in the Zionists, right? But the thing is, Muslim world has got such a lot of money. They can sure, I mean, look, look, money isn't everything, right? No, so again, can we can, can I, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of Muslims America's who are trying to find a peaceful way to fix the situation, not just fight. Uh, I can't speak for them, right? Because that's a leadership that I'm not a part of. But I can speak for the religion, right? Okay. In the religion, said, we don't have anything like that. In the beginning, as I said, I do not believe that there is any difference between the, all the religions if you follow the basic teaching. The right. Basic. So, so there we go. So, so the part of Hindu religion that it's from its text that talks about the no, cats. That's not basic. You disagree with that, right? I disagree. No. Good. The basic is there's one God. Okay. Good. You're supposed to love each other. You're supposed good. to be kind to everybody. Follow the prophet of the time, the Ten right? Ten commandments will fit rightly. I agree. Yes. The Ten Commandments. What's the first commandment? Here, O Israel, your Lord is one. Yeah. But that Christians is, today will tell you God is three. No, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The word Bhagwan is uh -huh. one. Okay, Bhagwan is one, but Ram and... and so if people want to uh, transfer the name of Bhagwan... That, that, that gets to be problematic because then you have many gods, right? Because Bhagwan, when you take that and then you say into uh, Prabhu and then you get into Vishnu and then you get into uh, Shiva, right? Now Shiva is not the same as Ram. And if they're both God, Vishnu is the same as Ram. Vishnu is the same as Ram? Vishnu is the avatar. Shiva has got no avatar. Okay, so who is Shiva then? Shiva is, is, is the God that was there apparently, from what I understand, was there before the Aryans came. So Shiva is a God? The Shiva was the, the person, the Rudra he was called, okay. according to what I understand about Hinduism, existed. So Bhagwan and Shiva are the same? No, no Bhagwan is the general word for God. Where, uh, no, no, then Shiva existed, in which uh, people were talking in terms of Shiva. And the Aryans came, the indigenous people of Seharapa and, yeah, and the Yeah, I got you. I mean, I'm, I'm Pashtun, so we're from the Aryan, Indo-Aryans, I get that. Yeah. But what I'm saying is but if you're saying the Aryans came, they came with this Vishnu and all the avatars like you see the So Shiva is not Vishnu. So there's two gods. Well I don't know whether you'd call it two gods. That's the two names that people gave but them. But Shiva is not the same as Vishnu. No. Because Shiva was people who existed before so the Aryans came named their god okay. Shiva, like you name your god okay. Allah. No, no, I, I didn't name my God Allah. Allah Everybody. introduced Himself as Allah. Okay. But Allah right? has got lots of names. Many, too, many. Right? I, I agree. Yeah. But all those names are referring to the same They're entity. The same with Hinduism. So Shiva names. is not referring to Vishnu. No, Shiva is not. So those are two him. different entities. No, people who, who call their God Vishnu refer to the God by the name Vishnu. And that's what I understand. As I well, but then, then it ends up being more than one God because according to that belief because Shiva if that's God and it's not the same as Vishnu no, and Vishnu but the various names of uh, that people call Rahman uh, but, but Rahman and Allah are the same yes that's right the thing. so but Shiva and Vishnu is not the same no, they are the same name for the same the names for the same God so then they are the same they are the same in the sense that different people call their God Vishnu okay. and different. But I mean, they're not connected yeah. in laterally. They're not connected. It's the yeah. name, like I, for instance, I am, my name is Sirojini. Okay. But somebody calls me Sirojini, somebody calls me Mom, somebody. But, calls but you're the same me person. Sorry? You're the same person. I am. Okay, you're one person. One person. Okay, but Shiva and Vishnu is not one person, though. Uh, no, I am supposed to be the Bhagwan, the God, but known by different names. I'm confused again now. No. So, like would you say Shiva yeah. and Bhagwan and Vishnu are the same person? Yeah. But then earlier you said they were not the same. 
No, they are not same in the sense Vishnu is not same as Shiva. In okay. the sense they are literally. Like my brother might call me sister, yeah? yeah. I am not, my brother is not the same person as my son who calls me mom. But you're the same person. I am the same person. No matter what people call you. The same person. Right, okay. So my brother calls me sister, my son calls me mom. Right. And somebody calls me but if, auntie. Okay. I am not those two. Well, all of them are not related to each other. Well, oh, they are. Yes. Through you, like if he's your brother, yes. then your son is his yes. nephew, right? Yes. Uh, so they are related, yeah. right? Uh, and so, so now. For them, I am a mom. For sure. Them, sister. So, but, but I am the same person. Right, but but then name you. Ram is not the same person as Shiva. No, they are the names given by the people. Yeah, no, no, but Ram was a person that lived, that married, right? Yes, but they And Shiva are, is not. Uh, Shiva lived as well, I think. No, no, but not at the same time as Ram. They were two different people. They so they're not the same. Era said okay, good, yeah. So if they're two different people who live two different lives, they're not the same person. No, they represented the same person. They represented like, like you are alive, yeah. you're one person, right? Yeah. You may be a mother to somebody, yeah. you may be a, a, a sister to somebody, yeah. but in the end you're the same person who lives the same life, makes the same decision. Yeah. And the God is the same, sitting there. Excellent. God is above, uncreated, yeah. right? Yeah. Always been there, Always agreed there. with yeah. you, right? That's agreed. But when Shiva's on earth, where's Bhagwan? No, Shiva is the person, maybe Bhagwan sent him or whatever, but so Bhagwan sent Shiva. Maybe I don't know because I don't believe in all these things. I okay, you don't believe in that. I mean either. Okay, good. But no, you do believe there's one God, right? I believe in one God. I don't good. believe in all these things. Shiva and Ram. Deities, yeah, exactly. Even whether Muhammad was the only prophet ever. No, no, we never say he's the only no, prophet. That no, we other believe. No, prophet will come after. Of him. course, then, because the Quran tells us that. Well, then that doesn't I mean, mean, if Allah says, like you said earlier, yeah. if there's one God, yeah. then we just need to submit to the one God. Yeah. So if the one God tells us yeah. that he's the last prophet, yeah. then that's what we have to believe. We can't make our own belief, right? Uh, okay. Make sense? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Well, read up. And, no, uh, I won't read because I've understood everything. Oh, said. great. Excellent. So I will read this and thank you. Because thank you so much. I explain everything. Yeah. But you see, even if I read now, uh -huh. as I said at the start, I will believe what I believe. But that, that is what I believe. So it's no point. Right, but like, like you said, if there's a God, then we should submit. We should yeah, do God. with God. Yeah, yeah, so if, in if God, way you you have understood that God and learned to love that God. But then you're making your own way, not the way of God, right? No, but uh, I know what Prophet Muhammad said. Okay. I know what Buddha said. I know but have you read the Quran? I I have read the book that I bought specifically okay. on Muhammad as a person, and I was very impressed with him. Good. Yes, because he was a compassionate man. Very said, merciful. Respect your own religions, and so I understood. And in between, maybe there is a Quran at home, I'm not sure. But uh. I read on the internet about nice. religion, I know a lot about Buddhism. And Good. as I said, with Hinduism, I don't agree with everything. Good. But then that gives me the freedom sure. to worship that God, that right. all religions say what I should be doing in this world is worship the one God, Not making whether Shiva existed or Vishnu existed. Or monkey god existed or right. anybody else existed. What is the message that I am supposed to follow in this world? Right. Love and compassion. Right, right. but but make distinction. But, if I go to the mosque, if I feel oh that's the that is the thing that represents that God there. Yeah. It's about what we might wish to call him but it doesn't matter. Right, but but when we submit to our creator then it's not for us to decide how I want to worship him. Yeah. Then we submit to how the Creator tells us, yeah, right? I, I Wouldn't that make sense? The Creator told me. Mm -hmm. I, the Creator said, just love him and, and, and believe in him. For, for example, right? Yeah. When you talk about abortion, oh, well, I heard is, it, abortion, is abortion yeah. morally correct or incorrect? Uh, morally is not correct. But there are people that feel that abortion is morally correct. Well, 
then you see, you have to, again, you have to look at the circumstances of people, why they did that. You might force them to uh, not do it, don't abort. For example? And then the rest of the life that person is suffering with okay. whatever, is that morally correct? All right, so, so that's... Am I here to ju judge that person? No. So, so that's a good... Judge no. Judge well, no. That he be judged. Right, but then that, that for example, <laughs> then, then you look at, for example, that somebody murders somebody, do you judge them? I don't, I think that's wrong. To judge them or? I, I don't, I judge them in the sense oh, You just said don't judge them, right? No, no I, I didn't judge them, but I opinion, God said, thou shall not kick. There you go. So I'm not judging, I'm Excellent. following what, what was said. That's exactly right. So, so following what God says, yes, right? Yes. So this is the point that we don't make our own method. No, but, we but we follow. Somebody, uh -huh. nothing, even if God didn't say that, right. by killing somebody, you have destroyed his happiness. You right. have destroyed the life. But why is that wrong? What right have I got to do? So, so great point. Now you look at in Israel, for example, you just mentioned Gaza. Yeah. They're killing children, right? They shouldn't be. So are, sh should you not judge them for the massacre they're doing? Of course you judge them. Quite there you go. So what do you judge by? That they have done the killing. Right, but they feel they're justified. Well, then, then they can feel what they want to be. But they're wrong, right? Me and you would agree. Yeah. Exactly. So this is why the Quran yeah. is the laws of God. Hey, where God tells us how should we pray, how should we fast. Yeah, because you see, that's where I don't think that's where I can't fit in. Right, I why not? not I know you are not trying to convert me. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm saying if I have a Muslim, yes. then don't I cannot go if I'm walking past the church right. or a temple or church, I know you accept um, temple or Buddhist uh, Buddhist uh, temple, uh, right? Yeah. Then I will feel I I cannot even go in as if I it's a you can, around. You can go in and give them that one. An issue. I've been to a church before. Yeah. It's not that, but but no or even I've been to a Hindu temple, right? Me, I can't eat if it's halal, you can eat it, right? As long as it's not like pork or something, right? No, no. We don't eat pork. Yet. No, Quran says that it was offered to the God. Well, of course, if they're offering it to a false deity, then I think you would agree that. Well, then I think the deity they're offering it in their mind. They're offering it to God, yeah. Well, Whichever again, so so that that's where we discussed earlier, right? Yeah. That if there is one God, yeah. and if you're saying that, for example, Buddha is a person, a human being, and you take him as God, then obviously he's not the same as Vishnu, right? But look at Buddha, yeah? yeah. Buddha about God. Agreed. Yeah. So, so why would people worship him? Instead of following... Yeah, people should not worship him. But people do worship him. I was in Thailand, I've seen it, right? People always do things that... Exactly! So when we say that don't worship Buddha, worship the God that created Buddha, you would agree. No, but to them, he... he God exists in the idea of sin. That's all. Well, but, but, but worshiping that statue of Buddha or that man. Buddha. But they do pray but, to sorry. Buddha. Sorry? They do pray to Buddha, right? I mean, I've seen it with my own eyes, yeah, right? So, so, so we agreed already. But to them, they think they're praying to be God. And they yeah, will go there. But that's a great idea. Though. Why don't we tell them, hey, Pray to the God, don't pray to the creation. But they're not. When they're praying to Buddha, I think they're pinning their thought on a something. You know, to just sit there and pray without. It's very difficult, you know, to concentrate solidly on something. As I said, I light a lamp, and there is a flame there, yeah. and that flame is the focus. Right. Then you remember that this is what I'm doing, and so it's like that. Right. The flame is not God. Agreed. But it flickers, it reminds me of something, something eternal. Sure, but if you start praying to the flame, and you start saying, oh flame, help me, no, oh flame. No, 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 no people no, do. People do. They, they say, Ya Ram, it's for Ram, for example. They pray to Ram, right? They, they ask of 
uh, you know, uh, I mean, different deities. That is the end of the day. Oh, that's a, that's a great question. What does it what, what does it mean to be good? They're trying to others. They feed people and they don't kill anybody and they love. Well, I mean, again. I mean, if if that's the definition, then no country in the world is good, because every country in the world has an army. As, right, so Most of the time people don't follow what they are even taught by their parents to leave aside, right? you know, Prophet Muhammad saying, Allah, Buddha saying, or yeah. Shiva, whoever. People just don't follow what parents tell them. Well, so, so this is a great point. Instead of us doing what we want, yeah. if we follow what God tells us to follow... They start off with following what you know at least. Yeah, of course. Ten Commandments, for me. I'm not a Christian. I, I follow the Ten Commandments, yes, right? So I believe I don't worship idols. But, 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 but look be at the second... Look. women, be modest. Yeah, I agree. Don't wear a scarf, doesn't matter. Be modest. No, but the Prophet didn't say it. If, it, if you don't wear a yeah, scarf, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. But again, now you talk about Ten Commandments. What's the second commandment? Uh, no. Don't worship idols. Don't worship idols. Right? They say worship, don't worship. Yeah, the second commandment. Uh, right? I, I don't remember because uh, I don't think in terms of idols. So right. maybe not even so, so see, that, that's a beautiful point yeah, when you at said... At the same time, if I'm with a group of Hindus and that is an idol, everybody's praying, I will not feel uncomfortable right. as a Muslim I would. But as somebody who claimed that you, you believe in the Ten Commandments, yeah. that should make you uncomfortable because again, that can commandments you believe in? Well, I, I believe in the... the <laughs> you believe in the commandments you want to believe in? <laughs> no, but uh, they are not worshipping idols. That's well, they are. But, but this is this is exactly... Yeah, no, the, hold on. That's so, where I did say... They well, but, but when you go yeah. to the Ten Commandments, yeah. what was the point of the that Second Commandment? The Second Commandment said, Thou shalt not... Work. Worship given idols. Yes, yeah. yeah you, can, you can look it up. No, that's why I believe you. No, it's okay. Look it up. It I have a Bible here too. I did it in registered. Yeah. So, so, so the people of Israel, they used to make idols as representations of God, yes, and they would worship the idols. And the Ten Commandments were specifically to tell them, don't worship those idols. It's not different than walking around the Kaaba. No, it's not. It's very different because we don't worship the Kaaba. No. We don't, we don't pray to the Kaaba. Yes. We don't say the Kaaba represents Allah, yes. right? It is only a place for us to go and pray like a mosque. Right? The one country does go around any building and of course because again like you said we submit to our creator and the Kaaba is in Mecca a place that was made holy by Allah where all the prophets went where Abraham stood that's where Ishmael stood say too. That's what they about the Kaaba say. no about an idol that sure. that with prayer they have tried to get the God spirit into that that sure that so, so what's the difference what's we the don't difference? worship the Kaaba yeah. we don't Pray yeah, to the Kaaba. That, that spirit that they think they have called the Pope. We don't believe there's a spirit living in the Kaaba, right? Yeah. We worship, even here, I worship to Allah above, right? I don't worship a man representation of God, right? For example, when you look at Ram, Shiva, Vishnu, like we just went through that, all that, right? Yeah. So, unlike that, the Kaaba is only a location for us to unite. Just like if you go to a church, like you said, right? If you, that doesn't mean you worship the church. Yeah. But when you go and put your head down to an idol, that is worshiping an idol. That's exactly yeah. what the Ten Commandments well, forbid. I can't right? speak for others. Yeah, that's the problem. My I mean, is so firm in that there's one God. And good. That Me too. Soul doesn't matter. Right, but, so, but again, Islam so is not uh, something to divide people. Yeah. It's to unite people, yeah. right? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khair for tuning in. We hope you're enjoying this video and benefiting from it. Something that's come to our attention, what we've noticed is nearly 90% of our viewers are not subscribed to this channel. We want to make you guys aware that One True Message Foundation is completely non-for-profit. We are a non-profit organization and subsequently we've turned off all advertising on YouTube. What we need you guys to do is share the khair with us, subscribe, like and share this video to anybody else that you think may benefit. A small action but we want you guys to share the reward and help spread the One True Message. Jazakumullah khair brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Yeah. Because when we, when we say there's one God, yeah. and when we say that God revealed the message, yeah. and we can prove that that is the message of God, not that of man, 
unlike the myth that you talked about in Hindu tradition, then for us to submit to that message would only make sense, right? You yeah, know, but the thing is, you see, if I became say, I know nobody is telling me to become a Muslim. All right. Muslim. Let's if say you're I a Muslim. Muslim. Yes. And I did something wrong. And it's okay. You ask God Allah for forgiveness. No problem. We all do but things I'm wrong. Restricted to to doing things because it is. What would you be restricted to? That I can eat something if I'm right. Afraid. So if your God yeah. tells you don't eat this, then why but would I'm you eat it? Talking of pork or any such things. So what else are you restricted from? That my friends went to the temple and bought something, and then right. I don't want to eat. By doing that, I'm making them feel right. bad. Right, but if something yeah. is made to be sacrificed to a false it's deity. Not a sacrifice, a bit of halwa. Yeah, yeah, halwa. They, 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 you, you can, you can, you can give anything as a as a offering yeah. to a false deity. Yeah. And if God tells you, your creator, that this is not something you should eat, yeah. then why wouldn't we submit to our creator? Like, Second commandment, you shall not make idols. Yeah, oh, thou shall not make idols, okay? Yeah. Not worship idols. We'll worship as well, I mean, yeah. if you keep okay. going, yeah? So, okay. so now, but even making I, idols, I right? I even notice, to be honest. Right. But then that's a good thing you learned today. You learned something new, right? <laughs> yeah. Is it good to, right? So now, yeah, when you say, I believe in the Ten Commandments, yeah. then those Hindus making idols would be forbidden by the Ten Commandments. So one of them has to be true. And one of them has to be false. You can't say you can't make idols and make idols, I right? Think, as I said at the start, it is not important whether uh, the idols are God so that you shouldn't pray to Do what you should be doing. Yeah. Yeah, but if, but it, if that, God tells you that it's important that you don't worship idols, then it's not our place to say... Worshipping is not as important as doing. In Hinduism, okay. there, there is ways of doing. Let's let me go back to this. Okay. Either by karma, karma or gyan. These are three words. Okay. Karma is what you do in this world. Everybody knows what karma is. Okay. Karma is following the, the religious injections. Yeah. yeah. And gyan is knowledge of the, the Vedas and the Upanishads. Sure. Puranas. They are Puranas. And they are proper, I mean, all these are mythologies, but they are supposed to be the Hindu philosophy. I can't say I know them. All written in the straight, I don't know. And I never bothered to read too much. No, if, if you do good things, Karma, good things, then, and even, I'm sure, proper people, please be upon him. Please be upon that can I go on a die and go to judgment judgment and he's sitting there. He can see I was such a good person. Okay. So but, fine. But, but so see, why don't I do but, but what that's I'm a good to do. But that's the whole point. Yeah. What are you supposed to do? We have to refer to what God wants you to do, right? Not what ah, you that's where right. the Hinduism gives you one way which is and, and then one way which is what? Which is it, what is what appeals to you? What appeals but, but again, then then you're not doing what God wants you to do. It's whatever appeals to you. For example, if it appeals to me to, let's say, rob people, does that mean it's good? No. Well, well, why, why would you? For example, if I feel that it's okay for me to rob people, let's say in my mind I rob him and I give the money to the poor. You should not rob. Why not? Because common sense, if I no, no, I, again, I, I would disagree with you because, for example, Robin Hood, Robin Hood is taken as a hero, right? Well, but he Robin used to rob people, yeah, right? I agree with that. Robin so, Hood shouldn't have been doing that. But so, so again, in his common sense, it would make sense. I had friends growing up that, in their mind, if they robbed a rich person and gave some of that to the poor. In their mind, they were doing good. So when you look at good and bad, it cannot be left. Well, exactly. So there's the point. When people like Robin Hood, even though he's doing something that you said is wrong, then that means we cannot leave right and wrong to our decision. Was he really? But, he's doing it for selfish but, it, but if somebody robs you and takes that money to give to the poor, in your mind, they robbed you. That's wrong. Right? In their mind, they're doing good. So this is why for us as Muslims, we go back to what God tells us is good and bad, because then it's not, up, it's not subjective. 
Because if you leave it subjective, then there's no morality, right? For example, in India, there used to be a slave system, right? In America, we used to have a slave system as well. In the mind of those slave owners, they were not doing anything wrong. George uh, Washington, the, pre the founder of America, had slaves, right? But today, me and you would agree that that's wrong, right? So now, are we right or was he right? Right? So again, if you leave it subjective, then there is no objective morality. But nobody can say that slave, slave trade was a good thing. There are many. I mean, the East England, East England uh, Trading Company, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, you're, you're standing in the United yeah, Kingdom that was nobody built on slavery, right? Thing, but there are, there are. Until today, there are people who believe that was a very good thing, right? If you look at the Nazi methodology, if you talk about when well, we just had the EDL here, right? So that right-wing, extreme, um, and xenophobic, many people think it's good. So how would we differentiate? So the idea in Islam is, instead of me and you making up our own morality and saying, I'm a good person and you're not, or you're a good person and I'm not, we go back to what does Allah tell us? What does our Creator tell us? Not what the Prophet Muhammad made up. It's all what was revealed to him, right? Yeah, but then, as I said, no matter which religion you belong to, even Islam, there are a lot of people who are not doing what they are. Well, again, we're so not... It doesn't matter. No, it does. Because it's not about what people are doing. It's what we know to do right and wrong, and we follow. If somebody else does something bad, God will not hold me accountable, right? But if, my, but if you believe that God asks you... You're not believing in Quran. You're believing in everything. Like you said, you believe in Allah, right? But for, sure, I'll get to it. <laughs> you haven't read the Quran, right? So I, there are many what, things in it. But look, this yes. book on Prophet Muhammad was all the, I wanted to know how Islam was developed. Excellent. And his ideas on it. And to so, me, so what did you learn? How was Islam developed? It was developed because he lived in this area where there was... They say our father who art in heaven. But they also pray to Jesus. No, they do. It's, oh, Jesus, help me. You know, they, 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 you know, many times you can speak to a Christian here. They will tell you Jesus is God. And they pray to Jesus, right? Oh so, yeah, this so, is getting complicated. And my right? husband must be wondering where the I disappeared. And I'll tell him I was... Take a, yeah, t -t -t take a Quran so you can show it to him. Maybe I'll have one. Okay, Maybe then I'll read it. And then when you know what God wants, then as you said, then we submit. To, but now I have spoken so much and I heard so much. Thank you. But I well, appreciate your time. No, I think I agree in the sense that uh, not everything that the Hindus do I agree with. Good. Not everything that the Hindus do I agree right. with. But in the religion of Islam, yeah. like, like we said in the Hindu scripture when it talks about the different caste system, yeah, you think that's, that I agree. But in the religion of Islam, you agree with everything. So which, right? God, which yeah. said, you just said that Mahabharat is a mythology. And I, me and you agreed to that earlier, right? Yeah. So why are you worried about what the mythology said about the caste system? But I think it's wrong, that's why. Yeah, no, it's a mythology. Right, but, but people use it. Didn't say but, that. but people implement it. Yeah, they shouldn't. I agree. Because so that's what we're it saying. Suits. That suits them. Because exactly. And, and in their mind, in their mind, they're good, good people. <laughs> but they're not, right? I would agree. Because the Quran tells us that, that we created you in different nations so you can get to know each other. No superiority, no inferiority, right? The Prophet Muhammad told us, as I told you earlier, that there's no difference between Arab and Ajum, white and black. So that message is a true message that shows we're equal. Yeah, so you will say the same about Hinduism and Hinduism. But Hinduism no, believes in a caste no. system. Well, that's mythology you read. What about so, Upanishads? So, have you read Upanishads, Vedas? I, I have read the Vedas actually and the Puranas. Vedas, yes. did it say, did it uh, say? The Vedas do reference caste systems as well. Yes, and Vedas. the Puranas. Yeah, it does, yeah. Which Vedas? I can send it to you. I mean, I don't have them offhand, but Vedas are a lot. It's not like one book. No, no, I'll send it to you, no problem. I can't say I know Veda or... I, I've, I've read translations of the Verda and the Puranas. In my house, I've marked them up to show where the caste system is mentioned, including in the Gita. Good, I agree with you. And Islam doesn't. So this is why... Christianity doesn't, Buddhism doesn't. I agree. So when we see... 
Right, but when you submit to your creator, that's what a Muslim is. We all submit to creator. We don't. Because you see people doing wrong, they're not submitting. Right? We see people worshipping other than God, they're not submitting. We see people massacring people in Gaza, they're not submitting to what the Creator says, don't kill children, don't kill innocent people, right? Then we condemn it. Right? Like I said, as a Muslim, I also need to submit. Not just that, okay, I'm born in a Muslim household, that's it. No. You have to submit, right? Yeah, no, and this is why we read the Quran. Yeah, but see what Muslims also don't submit in the sense they do wrong. Like, again, like I said, we condemn them, yeah. and then but the religion doesn't teach them anything wrong, yeah, right? You know, the Hindus. I can talk like like me. There are a lot of Hindus like me because we are not. We have been given thoughts to question, question. I question that system. I don't like it, so that's that. Right, yeah? but, but then, but then you are following your desire, what you think is right. You're not following a divine message, then, right? You're not like earlier you said if there's one God, then all we need to do is submit and do what God tells us to do. Even Islam says all you need to do is love that God and ask for forgiveness if you have done something wrong. And you in Islam things he'll help you. In Islam, yeah. In Islam, yeah. Allah also tells us that we cannot differentiate between people. Yeah. Right? We cannot think one is yeah. better than the other, right? Allah also tells us we need to pray five times a day, yeah. right? Allah, as we all Muslims pray five times a day. If a Muslim doesn't, they're doing something wrong. They need to go back to that, right? So there, there is not about my reality of right and wrong or my idea of good and bad. Like when you talk about abortion or robbing from the rich, Islam tells me I can't rob from a rich person to give to the poor because Allah made it haram. It's not about if I think it's good or bad, right? There's a, mo a, a objective morality. And that's very important because when you don't have that, then you have things like people using a caste system that me and you agree is wrong, but they use religious Hindu texts to justify it, right? But we as Muslims would say, no, the Quran tells us that's wrong. And the Quran being not mythology. Do you think that most Hindus in India, uh, I'm not from India, I'm from Fiji, my grandparents, right? But do you think most of them believe in that system? I, I can't say most because I haven't done a study. I but but met there are any of my oh. friends from Sri Lanka, India, okay. Fiji, anywhere we believe in that system. Have you discussed this with all your friends? Well, there was no need. So then how do you know they don't believe it? Well, I assume uh, because they, so the way they... Don't, they don't make... Look, go Google it when you go home. Caste system in Hindu today in oh, India. I know what. Okay, so so there are people who are living by Brahmin, that. Brahmins do because it suits them. There you go. So you would agree that that's a misuse. But I don't believe in Brahmins either. Okay, but it is in the text. It's in the Verdas. Brahmins are mentioned in the Verdas. Where the cancer body is gone. What do you believe in? I don't believe in it. I don't believe in, in the caste system. Good. I, well, I'm saying, what do you believe in? That all people are born equal. Excellent. That's what the Quran tells us. That's what the Prophet yeah, told us. Everybody, every religion should say that. We are I agree. Of God. And when Hindus don't say that, then, then me and you would agree that it's wrong, right? I will go and ask. Good. Right? I don't know to ask. <laughs> no, when I went to Australia to study, the friends they asked me, uh, what is your God's name? No, and I got the I don't know. I always knew that God was God. Yeah. Right. So I wrote back. My head was familiar. Kerala. And I said, they asked me this question. Who are all these Ramakrishna and everybody? And he said, you don't have to believe Maybe you're in that. You don't have to believe in all those. That is only one God. That's okay. That's so Ram and Krishna, you don't have to believe in all that, right? But, but you believe in one God. In one. That, that, he said that, everybody says that, and... I, I mean, I've spoken to Hindus and many a time, and there's videos you can watch, yeah. and, and they would definitely say you do need to believe in Ram and Krishna, right? They, you can, it, it's, not a, it's not an option, right? Yeah. So but Krishna, I must say, when I read about him, yeah. uh, like your... your um, your Krishna food. stole like the woman's clothing and with a with a flute, right? That's the one we're talking all about. Them seem to, no, flute is this. All of them, they they, they picture him like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Whether he was very good or I don't know. He's a mythology. Yeah. So Krishna is not real. I said that it was. Okay, okay. Okay. But 
If he talks, in, he says, he says that he, shall, he says that he is sent here by God, he is representing God. If you call me, if you call me, which I take me, God, call God, yeah, he will come. That I believe. But, but, I call but, him but we, just, we just agreed Krishna is not a real person. No, he's not a real person. But the name given, the name given. But, but, but that's Do a I, lie then. That, that's not fiction. No, Rahman is real. Rahman is Allah. Yeah, that's not so fiction. That is real too. The na not that Krishna, the human being, but Krishna, the name accorded to the name that one can use for God. That I believe. But Krishna and Shiva and Vishnu are different. They, they are all different names, as I explained okay. to you. But 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 they lived in different times. They they lived if, if they were I real. But by what I they lived in they. Shiva was before Aryans came. But is Shiva that's real? Why. Well, or is it myth? Name. It's just the name for that's the name those people call their god. Alright. Yeah. But, that but is, is that mythology or is that reality? I think that's the name. And okay. then, you know, people have formed the ideas of who he was, what he was. Okay, doing. so like Ram is just a name. Ram for me, uh, Ram lived apparently. So he's a real person? Apparently from the stories he lived. Okay. And, and he was lived. married to Sita. He was married to Sita. And Ravan was a ten-headed guy that kidnapped her. Well, I don't know. I heard that's also mythology. I know just the same way as you know. But I, I don't believe that. No. Like, I don't believe Ram existed, to be honest, right? No, no. Uh, I think that is historical. I, I, no, it's not. Yeah. No. no, it's all... I mean, ten-headed people, I don't think that's history. Yeah? Kidnapping and money monkeys, armies like oh, Hanuman. I, I, yeah, I, so, a mythology, yes. I agree! Yeah. But, but that's a difference. Islam's not mythology. This is reality. No, but uh, you see, that's where I, I can't understand because it's a, just a name people call call their God by that name. No, no, but, but there's a difference between mythology yeah. and reality, right? Yes, but like the Prophet Muhammad, Otar, peace be upon him. That idea of Otar, that Krishna was sent as an Otar. No, but, 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 you, but you're saying Krishna didn't actually exist. He's mythology. It's a mythology because it's written in the form of a mythology, but he was supposed to have lived. But, but earlier you just said he's not a real person. Well, it's a mythology in the sense okay. that it was written as a, so, as a story. If of it's a, a myth, yeah. then we can put myths aside. But the Prophet Muhammad, the Prophet Ibrahim, the Prophet Jesus, peace be upon them, those are real people, right? Yeah. They're not mythology. Yeah. Right? Okay. okay. Do we agree or? Well, it is said that he existed. But I mean, I mean, there's evidences, right? I mean, it's not just said. There are well, eyewitness accounts. There are historic documents. But I upon it as mythology because it's written as a story rather than. But not, 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 not everything written as a story is myth, right? I mean, history is written as a story as well. I mean, you don't think like. Uh, oh, how do you know that Prophet Muhammad lived as well? Excellent, good question. There are documents, for example, Everybody that were so, sent. Yeah. I mean, he came only 60 years, been 6th century, yeah? Yeah, 1400 so, years so ago. So it's yeah. a pretty recent thing by that time people had been writing. So but we do realize that... He's 5 million years old. Oh, not 5 million, I don't think it's... Uh, 5,000. Yeah. Okay, yeah. there you go. But, but, but again, so we would agree that there is actual credible evidence that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, for oh, yeah. example, well, exists. So recent. Excellent. People were writing then. But Good. So that's how we know, right? Yeah, but... So, so it's not a myth, it's history, right? No, but in the end, I cannot agree that. I, I, I firmly believe that all religion lead to the same God. So that I can't move from. But, but think about that, right? No, I can't. If, if one religion that, says yeah. that God is only one, yeah. and has no kids, yeah. and the other religion says God is three, he has a son, then those two cannot be. Why can't God have a son anyway? Because Allah said he didn't. Well, so the, the, again, again. <laughs> huh? No, it's just what yeah, of course. religion says. No, 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 no. Again, that, that is so the difference. You're saying that your religion is your true religion. Well, again, it's not about my religion, yeah. but the true message that's sent oh. by God that we can verify through miraculous acts that it yeah. was something from God yeah. is definitely the truth because okay. myth cannot face reality, right? Like you said, most of those stories yes. were myths. Stories are myths. Yeah, so, so you can't well, compare reality and myths, right? So if somebody says, hey, let, let me give you an example, right? Yeah. 
If I say, this is my wallet, yeah. you can it's touch it, you can feel it, yeah. it's a reality, right? Mm -hmm. And you say, no, it's a monkey in your pocket, yeah. right? You can't say, well, they're both right. Yeah. And you can't say, why do you have to say that that's a wallet? Are you the only one that's right? Yeah. No, because it is a wallet, right? Yeah. I agree with right. you. So there you go. So when the Quran was, the Quran was... Is that, is that person who is praying to so-called, he calls... Uh, again. Uh, uh, to God or whichever God. Uh -huh. Is he praying to God or is he praying to well, them? Excellent. So th that's, that, that's the whole point. That's the whole point. That if you say that Shiva is different, a person who existed... So he, apparently, and according to Vedas, uh, Upanishad Vedas, he existed before the Adi. Escape. There you go. The name so, of God is So if that is different from Ram who existed later, yes. right? Then those are two. Those are not the same. Ram was well, a, a, according was to an, he was an avatar and by definition but again, avatar comes from sent from God. Sent from God but not God. No, he's not God. So if you worship the one that's sent from God, not yeah. God, there's a problem. It's polytheism. No, it's just that he represented God, so people. But I don't. But yeah. uh, even me neither. Did, you worship the one God. Yes. Right. But even if I was sitting there and Ram statue is in front of me, yeah, it will not bother me because I'm going to right. God. Whether but then, I'm looking but then at Ram. that violates the orders of God in the Ten Commandments. No, that I would. Then I don't. Uh, you don't believe in the Ten Commandments now? I believe in Ten Commandments. Okay, so the second commandment is not to make idols, right? Yeah, but then just just this, I don't agree with certain things in Hinduism and maybe Islam. But again, so that issue of uh, idol. They but, didn't understand what idols were. But again, about. that means you're not submitting to the Creator. You're making your own idea of what you but think is right and wrong. Brain to do well, uh, again, but everybody has a brain and they come up with different conclusions, right? And that's what we said earlier, right? About abortion, about robbing from the rich. If you just use your own brain and your own idea, everybody will come up with contradictory ideas. Right? All right, we'll leave Great that. conversation. Thank, Thank you so much. Yeah, he was so well, I appreciate it. <laughs> you should read it. No, no? I won't. Huh? Okay. Because, no, because it will only seem to me now, instead of the open mind I had when I bought the book on Prophet Muhammad, please be upon it. Please be upon it. Uh, I wanted to know the person and I had a very nice idea about him and his compassion. He is, what he no doubt. About. Yeah. But I don't want to read the Quran uh, and, and see that this is the only way. I would rather remember him the way I like. Then they do what you like. Yes. But the fact that I like you now, yes. and, and, and I like Rikas, and I like the Hindu philosophy, so I think I'll leave it at that. Go for it! Nice. You have said lots of things, I understood. Thank you. And one Muslim student, young person, not student, working with me, one person, he was student with me, young person. What don't you like about Islam? Yeah. He was I said that I never look in for me to anything what I don't Nice. What I like about Islam, I can tell you. Beautiful. So that's it. That's Thank you so much. Have a great day.